Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Monday, which right now on EAFC 24 means there's FC Pro Live cards that could potentially get upgraded based off their pro's performance today. So we're closely watching these cards because that means they could either go up in value a lot or they could get destroyed in price today depending on how a few of these cards play. We're going to cover all of that and what to watch for in that area of the game today, as well as other areas of the market that just continue to rise. Some fodder because of SBCs that we had yesterday and some other promo cards that are live, those Thunderstruck items after another weekend of games. We got to talk about that and maybe an opportunity to get in on some cards today before a potential market rise. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now let's start with the content that dropped yesterday, as we always do with these cards that were dropped in the mini release. We have Anderson Taliska and Ivan Perisic as probably the most hyped cards that were dropped in that mini release yesterday. And, uh, I mean, Anderson Taliska's card is nice. I think he has an Evo version that is a bit better, but, of course, that's not available to everybody. Long Ball Pass Plus is an interesting play style that they gave him. He doesn't even have it on his regular card. He does have Finesse. He's got Dead Ball, Trivella, and Acrobatic, and he also provides some really good links. He's around 180,000 coins. And I think it's a decent price. He was 140, 150k earlier. He has risen up a bit. And as you guys know, the mini release cards are always usually pretty rare. But I think this time around, they don't look as rare. Um, I think EA run, ran more lightning rounds yesterday than they have on all the other days of the weekend, honestly. I mean, right now, Perisic is 200,000 coins. He was 170k earlier. I picked up three of them between 175 and 177. Uh, and I think that's a good price. They gave him a huge pace boost, right? 90 pace on Perisic is awesome. But again, for his card too, I'm a little bit confused at the playstyle plus. Aerial plus, like... In the, you think about how Perisic plays in real life. As a Spurs fan, Aerial Plus is not how I would think of it. I think of him like Whip Pass. Maybe the Dead Ball Plus would be great for him. Maybe even Finesse Shot being a part of his card as well. But nonetheless, this is a card that a lot of people will have interest in. And some of those prices could be going up today. Now, a lot of people have invested in Perisic and Taliska as well. Because they do believe that the prices there are going to go up. Yesterday, we also had two other mini-release cards added. Uh, Milenkovic and Ricky Puj. Uh, I will say be careful with this uh, Milenkovic center back card because he is actually minimum price, as is Ericsson on the market. So be careful with some of those radioactive cards that are min price. Now, let's move on to the other stuff that we had. We had yet again another cup. And I'm not complaining about a cup, right? But last week's cup was so sweaty, it almost doesn't want to make me play this one. I'll get my four wins to get to 500 XP, get a couple of packs along the way, but I'm not going to grind this thing to the end. You do get an 84 times 3 which is cool, but it's very similar to the Thunderstruck cup as well. And here's the one thing, like, EA could add some spice to the weekly gameplay grind with these cups if they required something different in the friendly modes. Like, make, you know, this would, get, this would make prices move, but, like, make us use... Uh, an 80 rated squad or a silver team but they keep doing this you can't even see it's behind the camera the the loan requirement is the only requirement max one loan player in these uh friendly modes so that just again feels like it's going to be very sweaty and it feels like it's an extension of division rivals instead of being a friendly fun mode like we all wish that it would be so that was that and of course they did as we mentioned ran lightning rounds yesterday i've got a cheeky team league player pick to open right here and I get an 84. All right, that's going into the Mbappe SBC for sure. That's why I'm rinsing my 82s and 83s into that is because with the way the SBC craft is set up this week, there's not as much to craft. There's no 83 times 10s, not as many of those types of SBCs, but that's going to help me get the bigger SBCs that I've been working towards, like the Mbappe, maybe the new base icon that we dropped. Maybe I'll try one of those, but it's the Mbappe right now, man, that I really want to keep working on. I'm sure a lot of you guys are in a similar situation, whether you're working on Mbappe or Griezmann or I don't even know what other, maybe Salah player of the month. There's a lot of those kind of long, grindy SBCs that you could be working on right now in this game. This week, I think, will give us an opportunity to do that because there's a lot of fodder packs and objectives, as we have mentioned. And finally, uh, there's not a lot of those like crazy SBCs like just demanding all of our fodder at one time like there was last week during the craziness um, of Black Friday. Now, let's cover the other stuff that dropped. We mentioned the base icon and player pick. We'll cover those in a second. We had a player SBC yesterday in the name of Kaiseto. He was leaked, he was expected, and he dropped. 86 rated, bruiser playstyle plus. I think the price here is a little steep, but I also think this is a card that would actually play better in game than you would think that he would. So I'm not going to be doing this SBC, but I feel like it isn't actually a pretty nice card. And if you want to do it, if you're a Chelsea fan, you might be in for a treat. It's only three squads. They're lower rated. I say only three squads and it's 110k. 
it does take three squads of your players, but you do get some players back, and it's only one inform required in the 85 rated squad. So it's actually, it might be an SBC that I would get done once you get extra 83s and 84s. I mean, if you run out of team of the week needs and you don't need to do the player pick, you could just put it into this and rinse that through. It's out for 12 days, so you got some time. And, of course, the improved chemistry, that is not bad. Now, the big SBCs are these two, the base hero and the base icon, right? I wasn't expecting both, right? In yesterday's video, we said probably the base icon. Well, we got that two times repeatable. But also, the hero player pick was, again, a bit of a surprise. Now, they released these. Um, repeatable twice per day with the exact same requirements as what they were during Black Friday. But look how downvoted these are. 89% downvote on the hero and an 86% downvote on the base icon. When we see that for like player SBCs, it means like nobody is doing them. But guys, these are the gamble packs, right? People are still doing this. We opened some on SharePlay yesterday, and you can tell that even though they are very disliked, which I think the reason they're disliked is because they're not as easy to get done, and they seem more expensive now that we don't have the 83 times 10 and all those other upgrade packs that we were being that we were opening last week. Um, I think that's why it seems more expensive because last week it was like, oh, we got fodder. We can turn it in here, turn it in here. We're getting 83 times 10s every day. We don't have that now, so it's like, wow, I got to shell out an 85, 86 and 87 rated squad to get the icon pack. Oh boy, that's a lot. I can't do that very easy right now. I think that's why people see it in this way and because it was a re-release. But even though people see it as a re-release and they're not happy with it, the market tells a different story because 88 rated, which we talked about investing in yesterday's video, were actually a really big dub. They went from 22,000 coins all the way to 24, 25, basically 25,000 coins right now for all 88s, which is very, very nice. And with other SBCs like the Griezmann, like the Mbappe, like the Icon still available, I have a lot of my 88 rated still left on my transfer list. I am just lazy listing them. For a lot of you guys that invested in that higher rated fodder as well, the way that I would say it to you is, I think these cards are probably going to stay around their same price during this week unless we get another SBC that requires some higher rateds. I don't see them going to like crazy high values. Like a lot of the P for the Icon SBC was probably yesterday, but people will probably slowly complete the Hero and the Icon upgrade during the week. And I think I'd have to check, but I'm, I'm not sure when it refreshes, but it's out for six days and it might refresh by the time it goes away once more. Uh, and that, that would mean some more demand for that fodder. So I think it was a really good investment. Yeah, four days from now. So what would that be? Four days and however many hours. So that would take us to basically Friday. Both of those are going to refresh again. And uh, yeah, so I think I would sell my fodder before Friday. That's the way that I would go about it. But that was a nice rise yesterday on those. And the rest of the fodder market is still... 87s did really good too. 87s were probably a better investment than 88s, to, to be honest, because they went up 3,000 coins a card and they're cheaper, so you have less tax. That was really good profit there. 89s went up a lot as well. Even 86s are starting to go up. Now, I would say if you want to get involved in some sort of fodder for an investment this week, I like the 83s. I think you can get them for like 750 to 800 on bid because not a lot of people are looking at them. And I think you can lazy list them all week for 1.2 to 1.5K. You'll probably cop some lazy sales. If we were to get some other sort of really cheap um, squad, like an 83, 82 rated squad, 84 rated squad for some sort of like upgrade pack, like a year in review, some other upgrade SBC, which we usually have once a week now at this stage of the game. I think those could go up a little bit and you could get some lazy sales there. So I like the 82s and the 83s for those lazy listing opportunities. 84s seem really cheap as well. It's just going to depend on how much other SBC content we get during the week this week, if those will actually go up or not. Now, we got to talk about informs, right? Informs were bought and they were invested in before the SBC yesterday. They went up because people thought that the inform requirement was going to make those go up. They did go to 27 or like that from 26, 27 K to about 29 on the 86s, but then they dropped off hard down to 25 K and they're coming back up a little bit. All informs on the market right now are 23,000 coins. Guys, it's a lot different than last week, right? Last week, they were really low on Sunday night. But again, we had the 83 times 10. We had all these other SBCs that were out. And the 82 player pick was going away. And there was so much demand at the same time. This is still here right now. So I don't think investing in informs, at least until later on in the week, would be anything I would consider until the team league player pick goes away. Just because there's not as much demand on those cards. So informs are kind of in the mud. Uh, but that's just because everybody can do an 82 and an 83 rated squad to get an informed player pick right now. If you have informs, you could probably lazy list them and still get some sales. Again, it's not like they dropped a tradable supply SBC. It's going to drop those cards a ton, but I just, I don't know. I don't love the informed side of the game right now. Although EA do keep requiring them in a lot of SBCs, 
They just don't seem to be moving as much, and I don't think they will move as much this week. Now, let's talk about the FC Pro Live cards today, because I remember last week on Monday, it was an absolute crazy day, because these cards, like Mane, like Kolawani, and of course, Danielle Malin were going crazy, and now this week, I think a lot more people are interested, and for good reason, to be completely honest, because these cards have the potential to move a lot once again. The difference with this week is people are already invested in it. Now, the question you might want to know is, who's playing today? What cards do I need to be on the lookout for out of today's games? Now, today's games, guys, are from Group B. Last Monday was Group A. This week is Group B, and these are the players that are involved today. Group B over there, you can see Vanden Boomen, the SBC, Willian, Locatelli, Karamoa, and Tovan. Now, out of that list of players, I believe the favorites today in terms of the pros that are the best and that have the best chance to get points today and then, of course, upgrade these cards are Tovan and Karamoa. A lot of people are invested in this Karamoa card because he his pro player is the teammate of Tex, right? Tex, Man City Pro, probably one of the most popular pros out there. So a lot of people have invested in this card. I mean, take a look at his price. He was last weekend 43,000 coins, and now he is 76 k because a lot of people believe this card is going to end up getting at least a plus one today or maybe even a plus two. Again, the criteria are if the pro player gets three points in group play, four matches today for the pros, they'll all play. There's five players in each group, four matches for each of them. Three points is a plus one in form upgrade. Six points is a position change upgrade and a play style. And then 10 points out of group play is another inform upgrade. That's why, like last week, we had the inform or we had the double upgrade on Malin going from an 85 to an 87 plus the position and the play style. It'll be the same way today. It's all about how many points they score. Now, the difference about this week is, of course, last week, people weren't invested in too many cards besides Danielle Malin. And we had cards like the Mane and the Kolomani, they went absolutely crazy in price, right? Remember this Mane went from like, he was like 480,000 coins and he went to like eight, 900,000 coins. I don't think there's gonna be as much of that this week because again, you look at the market and you've seen Karamoa has already gone up so much. And with a lot of times with live cards, we say sell on the hype. But this time guys, to be completely honest, this is a day that if you invested early enough in these cards, like if you had bought, if you bought Karamoa, let's say like 60K and below, I don't think you have to sell on the hype today because the likelihood of those cards getting upgraded, albeit not 100%, it's actually pretty likely. Three, how many cards got upgraded last week? Oh yeah, four cards. There was only one card that did not get upgraded last week out of all the FC Pro Live cards, and it was the SBC for the guy who finished last in the group. It was the Jean Ro SBC, right? But it was Renan Lodi, Kolomani, Mane, and Daniel Malin, and four of those five cards ended up getting at least one upgrade, and so their price didn't move that much. Now, this week, like I said, there's a lot more investing. Karamoa, Tovan, William, these guys are up in value. Now, Tovan's not up that much. He's up from 47K to 63. That's not as much as Karamoa is, for sure. So cards like Tov Tovan, Karamoa, um, specifically Tovan and Locatelli, I think have potential to, to move more today. Um, I think they have potential to move more because they're not up as much. Yes, he was 47 and now he's 68, but I feel like he's kind of an underdog according to some people. Willian, he's already up like 100,000 coins, but he's crazy rare and his max price is 1.6 mil. This could be a card that ends up being 1.2, 1.3 mil if uh, his his pro performs well today. So if you want to sell on the hype, I would sell on the hype. Oh, man, it seems crazy, but on Karamoa because he's up so much. If his pro loses the first game, he could drop, and then you could maybe get in again if he would go on and, and compete better and then go in and win some more games. But it's just like live cards, guys, right? Except with these, they just have a higher chance of getting upgraded. So just I wanted to talk about that today too, so you kind of understand the risk of how that's going to work today there's a high chance of getting upgraded but also there's a chance that maybe they lose the first game or they lose the first two or three games and their card price drops a bit so maybe selling in the hype is the play that way you take the safe profits and of, of course since there are a lot more people invested there's going to be a lot more people looking to sell a card like karamoa and a card like tovan so selling in the hype is always the best play but you know he could go higher today uh, if he gets plus two, I feel like it's a plus two. If Karamoa's pro Banano gets 10 points out of the group today or more, um, I think that would keep his price up. If he does not hit that threshold, I think his card price might end up going down a bit. So just be very careful of those. But that's the situation 
with those cards today. And those games are going to be starting at content time. Um, EA will be streaming it. And I think actually today is day two of the FC Pro objective that was dropped like last week, which you can get 300 XP for watching today and a jumbo premium gold pack. And then for the whole thing, you get an 83 times five. So uh, make sure you have your accounts linked up and synced up and everything. And you can get those packs today from the EA stream. Uh, scan the QR code up here to get more information about that. If you haven't done that yet, or if you didn't do it last week, you can at least get some of the rewards that are coming your way there. Now, let's talk about other live cards, right? That's a lot of talk about live cards, but guess what? Uh, we have some more live cards that are getting upgraded. Some games yesterday and throughout the weekend have made Thunderstruck cards move a lot. Specifically, I believed in Interman, and I had Quadrados. I kept one from earlier, and I bought a couple of more, and they won. One example of a card price that is up because their, their club won over the weekend, and that means an upgrade is headed their way. If you take a look at a lot of the Thunderstruck cards right now on the market, yes, yeah, some cards are down, right? Bernardo Silva. City and the Tottenham game. Crazy game yesterday, right? Ended in a draw. He is down because he didn't get an upgrade. And actually, he can't reach his max potential. If we go to the footbin tracker here for Thunderstrucks and look up Bernardo Silva, he is now only able to get two wins um, from the Villa game and from the Luton game. He would only be able to get one inform upgrade and the two play styles if they go ahead and win those two games, he cannot get that win three because they have drawn the first two games inside of this period. That's a bit disappointing. Same thing for uh, Kuti Romero as well, whose SBC I will be finishing. Tottenham play West Ham two times in a row. That's interesting. Didn't know that. But we have midweek games this, guys, uh, this week, guys. And that's one thing I wanted to mention is these cards last week all got upgraded on Wednesday, right? Vinny went from a 90 to a 91. Neymar went up. Katoto went up. Diani. Uh, the icons that got their first win, got their play styles. So uh, again, icons are moving up in prices to get closer to that third win. Like look at Kaká, they've got two wins so far. If they win against Atalanta, he's going to go to a 91. There's a lot of hype there. Um, the one thing I have to say is with midweek games happening this week, as you see for a lot of these cards, like Man United play Chelsea uh, on the 6th. Luke, I mean, it's not in all leagues, but it's in the Premier League for sure. Lukaku is looking to be an 89 rated card very, very soon. Um, because of their, their next win. You could get a, you get a plus one and go up. They've got a potential to win there in those next two. Um, I mean, could EA not upgrade these cards on Wednesdays because of midweek games? I think they're going to keep with the schedule since they did that last week. I would imagine that even though we have those midweeks, these cards still will get upgraded. That's my take. Of course, it would have to be a player who is deserving of an upgrade, which is not everybody. Um, Jolinton got that second win, right? So he's going to get a couple more play styles. Bremer got his first win, so he's going to get a plus one inform upgrade. Uh, no win for Dortmund. They drew. No win for Tierney. They drew. Fati and Brighton, they drew. Um, Umtiti got to the 86 rated card. He's going to get some play style. So he's been going up. Klosterman's going to get a plus one because they won. Again, Quadrado in there as well. Joel Gomez in that crazy game. He's going to go to an 86 rated card on Wednesday, we hope. So that's kind of the situation there. Guys, it's a good time to be invested on this game. Let's be completely honest. Whether you're invested in maybe it's pro live cards, maybe it's invested in the Thunderstruck cards, um, it is a good time to be invested because these cards seem to just be going up and i think with the way content is right now it's probably a good place to stay if you have investments in those cards especially the thundershucks i would ride it out i would ride it out until later on in the week because i honestly think that those cards couldn't continue to rise like i still have a little that i bought at 35k she's like 41 a bremer that i picked up at 40 he is rising uh then there's the quadrados that i bought yesterday uh, at the beginning of the game for 124,000 coins so like i would just hold i mean right now there's really not it's going to hurt those cards unless people have a reason to start panic selling. Maybe there's a new SBC that comes out in the same position and league as that card that is a Thunderstruck. But as of right now, those cards just should continue to rise. But if you're not invested, you're like, Nate, what can I do? We got to take a look at the radioactive cards here because I think it's a Monday, right? It's, it's a day where we could see some of these cards have some movements. Yesterday, there was a lot of movements with these cards. There was a lot of panic selling and then prices that rebounded up after content. And uh, some of them today after weekend league rewards, I believe, could have a bit of a rise. I picked up a Maserati yesterday. We call him Maz for short, like Maserati. Um, he went from 250 all the way down to 200K at content, but he kind of started going back up because that was too cheap. He got panic sold off a lot. 
I mean, too cheap. This card seems expensive for 220k. It's got to be the rarity of the card. Every time I search him up, I'm just surprised at how rare his card is and how few pages he has on the market. But I will say, I think people like these cards, man. I think people are really vibing with the chemistry that these radioactive cards give. And it's just so easy to plug and play them into a side. I think they have potential today to have some positive price movements after rewards. Now, there could be, again, some more fluctuations like we had yesterday. Oshawala was a card that I bought yesterday for 410,000 coins, and she ended up going down. Right now, she's 375, and she's very low. I could see her going up today um, because usually the weekends, the past couple of weeks, literally the last two promos, the lowest point has been in that Sunday to Monday time frame for a lot of the cards. Now, the only difference this time is these aren't live cards because we had FC Pro Live and we had Thunderstruck. Those are both live card promos. And of course, these cards are not live. So that it's a bit of a different scenario this time around. But I feel like there's a lot of hype, again, because of the chemistry link that, links that these cards have. So it, it could be an opportunity where you go out and you pick up a card or two like Subasly. I know that he has the Evo item, but there's a lot of hype for his card that he has in this game. Um, as I take a look at the rest of the team, I do believe that the Parasitch card is pretty hyped. Taliska is pretty hyped. I think they're a little overpriced, and I think a couple of cards in this team are overpriced. So it'd be more so of a quick flip opportunity because if they are, they're obviously still in packs. EA is going to be running packs throughout the rest of the week. And if the content does turn up to be pretty good, they could kind of stay the same price and then dip at the end of the week before they go out of packs and then hopefully rise up a bit more. But I think that just if it's going to be a slow week of content, which I, th I just feel like it's going to be, I just feel like it's going to be a slower week of content this week. That bodes well for a promo team like this, for cards that people would maybe want to try, less packs being opened and less SBCs to create panic around the rest of the market. So I think that a lot of cards in this team, I look at and I say, okay, when would you ever be able to use Nani in your team on chemistry? 60,000 coins for him. When would you ever be able to use Zaha again? People haven't used Zaha since he left Crystal Palace in this game, right? And this is his first usable promo card of the year. He's a very pacey left mid with five-star skills. 75,000 coins for this card is one. Can I get a 74K or just bid on it? Okay, I got that. Like 74K for, for Zaha. I might test it out today. Maybe he goes up to like 82, 83K. Maybe he doesn't go that high, but I, I don't think that these cards like tank this morning as we head into uh, a Monday morning after Champs Rewards that puts a lot of coins on the market and people go out and they buy cards and they try cards. And that exactly is what this promo feels like it is. It's a promo to go and buy and try cards that you maybe haven't tried this year because of the chemistry problems that a lot of them uh, have on this game. So that's why I'm thinking I have uh, to hold on to a few of those parasites that I bought earlier today. I would also continue to watch the out of packs market. Thunderstruck cards that lost yesterday did drop off a lot like this Fakir, uh, but you know, he's very rare and a lot of these cards are still really good to trade with too. I feel like the market is going to be, if it's a slow week of content, a pretty good place to be trading this week as you see prices fluctuating. Uh, Diani was 1.17, now she's 1.25. Katoto is starting to rise. Uh, again, some of the icons continue to just go up in price. A lot of the Thunderstruck cards. Joe Gomez is 60K now. Like, wow, he's going up a lot too. And then if you look at the rest of your out-of-pack specials, that might be where you turn because a lot of these aren't up as much, but people still could be going out and buying cards for teams. This would be a part of the market where I would say, yeah, probably a good place to be looking for some quick flips and trades. I love these cards. The, uh, the Trailblazers are very rare and they're in demand. People like to use them, so I like those. Those move pretty good. Old informs move pretty good. Road to the knockouts still have really good fluctuations. Just find a couple of card graphs, maybe chem style trade. It's, I think it's going to be a good week for prices moving on this game, especially with those out of pack special cards. So I wouldn't be afraid to trade this week, guys. Icons, heroes as well. Watch those flipping graphs, get in some fluctuations, and it should be pretty good. Now, SBCs that could be coming. This is one of the only leaks that we have right now. It is Sinclair as an end of an era. I when was it when we had the uh, Rapino and we had the um, Krieger SBCs released? Those are still available in the game. It looks like we're going to be getting another one. I know we talked about this yesterday. I feel like this is an SBC that could be today, though. Um, these SBCs are still out for 10 days, so we could potentially have three end of an eras from the NWSL in SBCs at the exact same time. And it'd be very easy to link all three of those together if you have them into a side and to try out some new cards that way. But watch out for EA's content tweet. Um, I mean, I do believe they are going to talk about Premier League Player of the Month on that content tweet this week because that voting, I believe, is either ending or is over. 
And uh, we could have a Harry Maguire player of the month, which would be absolutely mad. I didn't look at the stats to this. Oh, you can still vote. Let's do this really last thing in the video here. Doku, Gordon, Kaminsky, Maguire, Sterling, and Tavernier. I think Doku's going to end up winning it. One goal and four assists, okay? Gordon had two goals, one assist. Kaminsky had 15 saves, no clean sheets, okay? Harry Maguire had a goal and three clean sheets. And United did have a decent month. Uh, Sterling had two goals, one assist. Tavernier had two goals. Guys, I mean, I know it's a meme like Harry Maguire and stuff, but like I legit think he has a shot at winning player of the month. I don't know. We'll have to see. Seriously, <laughs> we'll probably find out later on this week, but I would expect to see a player of the month SBC on Friday because the Salah SBC is going away soon. And uh, yeah, it might be a Maguire player of the month, which if they would give him more than 77, maybe even 80 pace, that would be nice. But that would be a... <laughs> That'd be an SBC right there, man. That'd be interesting. So that's kind of how it's looking today on this game, guys. We're going to watch the pro live cards today on stream. We're going to be trading. We're going to be crafting, still working through the Mbappe, the crafting upgrades. We could get a 78 plus player pick today. That would actually be fire. Like I would, I would like a chance at packing more of these radioactive cards. EA, if we get the same 78 plus player pick that we had last week, that would be awesome. That would be incredible. So I would watch maybe gold commons because that would be another piece of uh, demand for gold commons. And also... They got to shout team of the week really quick. Sorry to talk more. These team of the week cards, um, Trent for 40,000 coins, I think is a good price. I mean, yeah, he's he's been pretty stable at like 42. The team of the week, especially Teo Hernandez, got invested in a lot yesterday. Teo was up 30K. He was 240. And a lot of people saw yesterday as an opportunity to invest. And they are buying up Teo Hernandez like crazy. He's a very popular left back. And of course, a very popular investment because his informs in previous years have done incredibly well in terms of those investing opportunities since he's Serie left back and French. So he's going up. A lot of the rest of Team League is going up. Um, and they'll probably continue the meta cards, right? Dybala could be a decent investment. Those cards will probably rise today a little bit like the radioactive cards could be as well. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you would. It's Nathan, Nathan Foot account. And I'll catch you guys in a stream today. Peace out.